This training shows how to enable multiple symbology reading for when there is more than one type of barcode you want to read. Let's say you have one type of barcode you already have reading. You ran an auto setup on it, you can see a green box around it showing that it's being read, but you want to add a second type of barcode. First, go to Advanced Setup. And look at the settings under Code Symbology Setup. Take note of what settings those are, because that's valuable information generated by the auto setup you ran previously. Now, click the play button to enable live image capturing and move your barcodes to make only the new code you want to add readable like this. Note that my top barcode is not being read, while my lower barcode is, because we have not added that symbology yet. Okay, that will work. Click pause to stop live image captures. Click automatic setup. Click start automatic setup. We'll just check all the boxes so it searches for anything and click start. There goes the reader, taking images, adjusting its brightness, symbology, and focus settings to optimize the acquired images of the barcode and the decoding settings. It's trying to find a barcode. As soon as it finds the first one, it'll optimize settings for reading that barcode type and ignore any others. Process should take less than 30 seconds. If it takes longer, the focus or field of view is probably not correct for the barcode. There, finish. It says status completed. Now click close. Now that barcode type is being read, and we can see that it was found to be a UPCA. Now click play again. Oh, and move both barcodes back into the field of view. Now we're reading the top barcode, but not the bottom one. Go to Advanced Setup. Note that we could use these buttons to manually add a barcode type. Let's not do it that way now, so we can learn how the Learn Codes button functions. Click Learn Codes right here. Click Code Auto Learn. Drag the dotted white lines to be around the code we want to add. And then click the Search button. search for any barcode types in the box using the whole library the reader is capable of and it will stop and list a barcode type as soon as it finds one. I can choose to continue searching for more but in this case there's only one so we'll click finish. We will click OK to add to current configuration. Now click on image settings to expand and see the full list currently enabled. And now we have two barcodes involved, UPC and QR. Click on QR to access the code symbology setup settings. And then here's where you can adjust settings to match the optimized settings the auto setup found earlier for that barcode. Note that if you wanted to, you could add multiple instances of the same code symbology, such as by adding them manually like this, in case you had multiple kinds of the same barcode type, and you wanted to have different decoding settings to best accommodate each of the different kinds of barcodes you will encounter.